wanting to look into smart locks for a long time with my home, but I'm terrified of this whole idea. <laughs> uh, I am in the QuickSet booth. I'm with uh, Ashton Good, who is the product manager for their HomeKit compatible line of smart locks from QuickSet. And so uh, he's going to try to talk me into how this is uh, going to be a good idea. We're going to we're going to have some fun, I bet. Sure. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of things. So this is the premise smart lock, as we were as you were just talking about. What I really like about this product, one, is on Apple's HomeKit platform, which is a very secure platform, uses Apple encryption, um, uses your Apple ID, actually, um, as the notification and to, to be able to get into um, all, the, all the properties of premise. So if you're using HomeKit with your Apple ID, you have to have two-factor authentication turned on, correct? That's correct. Okay, so that, that means that the communication between the lock and your hub and your phone to control it, that's all encrypted traffic? Right, so this is all, you only need to do that if you're doing remote. So if, you, if you're hooking up to your Apple TV, if you're just using the interface between the phone and, and, and the actual premise lock, so using Bluetooth range, you don't necessarily need it. But as you go towards more remote access, yes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So I'm actually not familiar with any of your line. They, they also have the Kivo line, which is their Bluetooth uh, only. And then there's the, what is this line over here called? So that's our Home Connect products. So those are our, our products that are available on Zigbee as well as Z-Wave platforms. Okay, so this is cool. You guys are kind of in all spaces. Right. Whatever right. you've got, you guys have a right. lock that's going to work for you. Right. So, so how does this work? Describe this to me. Yeah, so basically what this is, is you download the free app, the premise app from the app store, and what that will do is allow you and take you through the step-by-step -step install process. So one of the things that we did differently with this product than what we've done with prior QuickSet products is we actually have all the install instructions in the app, and it walks you through an animated step-by-step -step process to actually pair the device and hook everything up to your phone. So I, in my experience, HomeKit has been a little bit fiddly, a little bit tricky to get in and out, so I think having that video in there is probably critical to success getting through that. Absolutely, and what we made very easy to do is when you go through the step-by-step step process, it actually uses your camera from your phone to go onto a QR code that will autom automatically pair the lock to your phone within seconds. Oh, God bless you right there. Because <laughs> some of the other stuff that I've connected has been just pretty much a nightmare. It's very, very easy. Okay, that's great. So I'm looking at this lock here. This is audio as well as video, by the way. So great. we have a touch screen on here on the front? Yeah, that is our capacitive touch screen that uses your finger. And this is the, what you see on there that initially comes up is what we call secure screen. So what this is, is two random digits that will randomize your fingerprints around the keypad so that for thieves, when they sometimes come up to the door, they'll look where the fingerprints are. What this, what this does is that it's random every single time a different number comes up to randomize your fingerprints around the screen. Oh, so it's just causing you to touch the screen to open it. So a one and a six came up on screen and he touched the one and the six. Right. The next time it's a five and a zero, you're going to leave different fingerprints. That's correct. That's, that's hilarious. That's a great solution. So it was just an idea that we had to help to you know, better secure the lock. So what this is, is so when you go through the whole install process, you use your app to set up the, the lock. And what I like to talk about why this, is, why this is a great product to consumers is four main things. One is it gives you peace of mind. So when you come up to the app and you open the, and you open the app screen, it immediately shows you your lock status. So I have three particular locks that are hooked up here right now. And what it is telling me is I have a couple locks that are unlocked and I have a, and I have a lock that's locked. So in the case that you're at work and you have it, and you do and you have paired this up to your Apple TV or iPad at home and you have that remote access and if you notice that your lock is unlocked, you can easily just tap on the on, on the icon and it will lock your lock. So that just takes care of the I forgot, my daughter forgot, my right. husband forgot, my dog forgot to lock the lock. I can do it from remotely. That's right. And the other great thing is, is a lot of times, even when you're going to bed at night, you might say, oh my gosh, did I remember to lock the front door? And so you can look at this and lock it at night as well and do that. So it's more of a peace of mind type thing. So does this also work on proximity to unlock the lock when you walk up? No, it doesn't. Actually. Good. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I was listening to Veronica Belmont talk about how she had to get rid of the lock system that she had because in the middle of the night, the door would unlock because her bedroom was right next to the lock. And that's a really bad feature. Right. No, I mean, the main way is you unlock the lock, obviously, is through the app. You can use Siri, um, or you can actually just type in the code on the, on the lock. Um, okay, so we can lock and unlock. What else can we do? I see a little group icon there. Right. So the other cool thing that you can do on here, and so, so number two that I like, uh, uh, the other usage occasion on here is user codes. So we have four different ways that you can assign user codes. So on here, you see there's two user codes on there that are for any time access. If you don't want someone to have any time access, and you say you have a dog sitter that comes and walks your dog one time a week on Wednesdays from 3 to 4, you can set up that access by changing their access type. 
and you see on there there's four different types of access types that you can put on there. So you can do it on that schedule, that Wednesday at 3 o'clock they can right. open the door. Right, and, that, and then that code that you set up for them will only work at that time. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Right, so and then you can obviously take it away when you're done with it, or um, you can also uh, change access types even if you want to, you know, if you want to come more often or whatnot, you can change you can change that access type just through the app. That's very cool. So uh, anything else big you want to tell us about Premise here? Yeah, the only other thing I was going to tell you about is notifications. So you notice that a notification just popped up on my screen. That's because one of the locks that, I'm, that we have here on the table changed status, so it's either unlocked or locked. So you get these you get these lock notifications every single time the lock st status changes. So that's more peace of mind. Yeah, you'd also know that your kid got home. That's exa that was the second point I was going to say. So if you want to monitor when your when your kids get home, good usage application for letting you know that they got home because you get a notification on your phone. This it, is going to sound like a dumb question because I'm looking at it, but what if I don't have a smart home, how, a smartphone? How do I get into my house? You just type in the code on the lock. Or I think I see a key. You can do a key as well. So the other great thing about these locks is, like our other electronic locks, is this has our smart key technology. What is that? So smart key technology allows you to rekey your house in seconds by using our patented technology, rekey technology. Oh wow! So yeah, so there's electronics in the keys themselves. No, actually the the, the keys themselves use um, a rack system, unlike traditional pin and tumbler cylinders that um, you would see on other um, companies' locks. Huh. Okay. I guess I'm not familiar with that. Well, this looks pretty cool. Uh, is this available yet? This is available. Actually, it is available. You can buy it um, at Amazon and soon other retailers. Oh, fantastic. So again, one more time, what should they look for? I'm sorry? What should they look for in the uh, in these stores? Quick set premise. Quick, quick set premise. And that's P-R-E-M-I-S. And uh, yeah, what's the price point? The price this? point is 229 Well, that's not bad at all. No. For the number of times we've had to rekey our house, right. <laughs> that by right. itself it would work. Right. And it comes in a whole bunch of different finishes. Apparently a better, right. a cooler finish for, for Canada than the rest of us. <laughs> that was just for my Canadian friends. <laughs> it comes in uh, Venetian bronze and it comes in satin nickel. Very good. All right. Thank you very much, Ashley. Thank Ashton. you.